Welcome everyone to Travelers Week. Um, I'm Katie Dashiel, the Content Marketing Manager at Supplemental Healthcare. And today I'm really excited to be joined by Brian and Cami from Furnish Finder. They're gonna talk about their offerings for the travel housing search um, and how to avoid scams during your housing search for your next travel assignment. So if you have any questions as we go, feel free to ask them in the question answers. If you're in Zoom, if you're on Facebook, go ahead and put those in the comments. Um, we'll have some prizes for people that participate. So be sure to type those in and we'll do that at the end. And so with that, just getting started, um, I'll just pass the floor over to you guys. So thanks again for coming today. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, my name is Brian and I'm the, a co-founder here at Furnished Finder and a CEO. And um, just really, really happy to be serving such a great community of travelers. Uh, we're really blessed to, to be here. Um, so Furnished Finder is um, a leader in the space when it comes to monthly furnished rentals. And uh, we, you know, over the, the years, we've really learned what travelers want. Um, so, you know, when travel nurses go to um, our site, which is furnishfinder.com, um, they can go in and do a search and find the housing that they need. We've got over 50,000 properties right now. So chances are you'll find um, what you're looking for. And not just in the big cities and in the areas that you actually travel, because this platform was built directly for travel nurses. So as they told us kind of what areas they're going to, that's where we would go and fish out for housing. So um, hopefully you'll find the housing that you need. Um, thanks for checking out Furnish Finder for all of your future assignments. Um, we're here to talk about uh, avoiding scams. Obviously, online housing scams is something that is... Uh, is very terrible and is very prevalent, unfortunately, in the industry. Uh, Furnish Finder goes to great lengths to protect our travelers. Um, all of our landlords have to go through a uh, kind of a out of wallet question and uh, kind of a, a background screen through our screening partner, so through TransUnion. So essentially, everybody, all the landlords that have a listing on Furnish Finder have to be vetted and um, authenticated. So um, that's one of the main differences that you'll, you'll see. Um, there's a plenty of places that you can go to go get uh, furnished housing, um, but we understand that traveler safety is, is uh, probably number one or number two on your list. Affordability is also one or number one or number two on your list. Um, and we understand that, which is why we don't mark up um, any of the fees. Uh, there's no fees, no booking fees, no commissions, anything like that. The rent is decided um, and displayed of uh, what the landlord has uh, posted and uh, you go directly. So we, we uh, allow you to connect directly. So um, if we're moving on to online housing scams, um, you know, there are a few things to go through, but before we do, I'd like to introduce you to um, our director of operations, Cami Norino and uh, have her say a few words. Hi guys, and yeah, thank you all so much for joining us today. Um, just like Brian mentioned, this topic and just making sure that you guys are safe out there on the road is one of our biggest priorities. So we're honored to be here with you guys. And uh, we're happy every day to find new ways um, to make sure our platform is as safe as it can be for all of you. Um, so just diving a little bit into the online housing scams, we wanted to share first a couple of different types of ads that throughout the years we have identified um, online scammers posed out there in order to get traction from legitimate travelers that are, that are looking for housing. Um, the first one is uh, what we call a fake ad. Um, you guys, when you guys are out there trying to look for housing for your next assignment, you'll find maybe on different sites like Craigslist, maybe sometime on Facebook, that there are ads that are just super easy to spot that they're just fake and uh, that the information is simply just not accurate. Uh, the pricing might be way too low for, for, a, for a very expensive market. So let's say $1,000 for a property in, in New York or $1,000 for a property in San Francisco or San Diego or LA. So there are things that you guys will find that you know it's fake, you know, it looks way too good to be true. So that's what we consider fake ad. Now our second category is what we could, we call a spoof ad. 
This is a copy of a legitimate ad, but the price is lower and they change the contact information. Very similar to what we describe as a fake ad. You know, the photos look very good. It is legitimately a property. Um, it might be even be the same address as the legitimate property, but the price might be a little bit lower and then they have completely different contact information. Um, so when you call, you're actually not talking to the landlord or the owner or the property manager for that apartment, but you're talking to a scammer. And then the third category, which is the toughest category to identify is an identity theft ad, where the scammers, um, they assume the identity of the real landlords and um, they assume the identity and the name and, and even in some cases, almost the, the full email address, but they may have, may add a number or two at the end, um, where you think that, yes, you're talking to John Smith. John Smith is, is the name registered with the county and might be the owner of the property, but this John Smith is it could, it's not even here in the States. It's not even the real, a real person who you're talking to. Um, now, Furnish Finder throughout the years, we've, we've put a lot of efforts in making sure that um, we identify the types of ads, we vet them, and we make sure that they don't get to a platform. So I'd like for us to dive a little bit on how you guys can take a proactive approach to scams and uh, identify if you guys are talking to somebody online or maybe on the phone that you found on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or anywhere else online, um, what things are key for you guys to identify that this could be potentially um, a scam? So Brian, would you like to tell us a little bit about this? So scammers are never really in town. They're, they're really, what they're looking to do is to um, kind of prey on your fear of losing the place because they know they're, they're gonna write the ad to make it as attractive as possible and they know that you need housing and they know you need it quickly. Um, so they pray after travel nurses. It's really unfortunate. You guys have a target on your back, but, um, but this is what we, what, why we're doing this is to educate you guys uh, in terms of, uh, you know, everything that we can possibly do uh, so you can protect yourself while you're on the road. So one thing that a lot of people like to do is to do maybe a Facebook walkthrough or I'm sorry, a, uh, 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 a live video walkthrough FaceTime. So um, that's one thing you can do. They, they're never going to be in the property, right? So they can't accomplish that. Uh, but many of them will actually try to say, yeah, I'll go ahead and, and we'll, I'll meet you next Thursday to show you the place. But then they'll always have an excuse as to why they cannot, you know, and these excuses are usually, oh my gosh, I got COVID and, and uh, they're really going to pull on your heartstrings and you know, I'm a, I'm a missionary and I just, uh, I had to go uh, back to uh, Haiti or, you know, some, you know, real wild type of um, explanation. Somebody's sick, I'm helping my dad, things like that. Um, so just be uh, very aware, aware of that. Um, and uh, they do, they, they go to great lengths to appear legitimate. Uh, as Cammy is saying, uh, they're going to have their own email. They're going to have a, a phone number they they'll be probably pretty well researched on who owns the property as well. And they're going to have their story straight. And there's uh, their story is, is always a dead giveaway because there's always more than one party. And then there's an excuse as to why there's more than one party and say, well, you know, John's my uncle, he's sick. I'm handling it for him. Um, so you're going to go through me, not through him. Um, and, uh, so they're going to have a story as to why, um, why you're not talking to the owner or if they are posing as the owner, um, you know, that's one of the, the reasons that you need to look out for people like this because they're going to try to, um, you know, just appear legitimate and appear, uh, they're going to use whichever alias they can, um, in order to, and they may even have a, an ID or, um, you know, a credit, um, sorry, like a, a utility bill. So those can be forged as well. So just be really careful out there. Um, one thing that we always see is, is kind of um, a lot of like the King's English used, uh, labor, L-A-B-O-U-R, or shop, S-O-H-O-P-P-E, things like this. Um, 
and because they're most of the time they're overseas. So if you see a lot of the King's English, um, I'm not saying that, that it's always going to be like that, but it's something to be uh, mindful of. What you're trying to do is make a case like an investigator, right? And you're going to make a case to go, is this person legitimate or is this person not? Right. So, you know, that may be one of the factors that you're going to, um, you know, to, to look at. Um, um, they're, they're going to essentially, their, their goal, their game is to get you to send money um, via Zelle. They like Zelle, Cash App, um, things like this, the other different types of money movement, uh, online money movement products. And that's what they're looking to do. They're going to say, okay, the rent is, uh, say, you know, 1500 bucks. I need 1500 bucks first month's rent plus a pet fee, whatever. Um, and so they're going to get the most amount they can without scaring you, um, and right out of the gate. And they're going to say, Hey, I've got other people looking at this. Um, so they're going to try to create that urgency. So you go, Oh, I don't want to lose this place. You know, it's too good. You know, it's, it's about 500 bucks to 800 bucks under market value, which is also a red flag. So um, just uh, again, be an investigator, make your case uh, as to whether who you're dealing with is legitimate or not. Um, so that's uh, uh, kind of a, a good place to start. Um, Cammie, yeah. do you want to dig in? Yeah. One thing to add as well is that whenever they're trying to get you to send money via a cash app, um, always pay attention to the name of the person that you're sending money to. Um, something that we have learned is that they, their pattern, I mean, they, oh, they always seem to have use different names. So you're talking to John Smith, um, but he is asking you to send money um, on sell it to um, Andrea Smith or to another person that has a completely different name. And they tell you, yeah, no, no problem. That is my property manager on site, or you're gonna be sending the money to my aunt uh, that is on site. Um, so throughout the process, you're not interacting only with one person, but they're sending you emails from different accounts using different names. Always be very, very mindful of the names that they're using because that could be the perfect point for you guys to identify that this could potentially be as cam. Um, as Brian said, they always go straight for the money. So throughout your conversation, they're going to be pushing you to send a security deposit right away as soon as possible. And maybe not only a, a security deposit, but they might change. Hey, I no longer need only that security deposit, but I only, also need uh, the first month's rent. Or hey, why, you ha why have you not sent me uh, the money? I'm waiting for that money. And just keep pushing and pushing and pushing for you to actually make a deposit full. And then once you do that, they disappear. Yeah. Um, always. Oh, I'm sorry, Cammy. No, go for it. I was gonna. I was gonna recommend that um, that they are looking at the photos, and there's uh, you know you can do a, a Google image search of of the photos. So, um, say you find this place on Craigslist. Okay. Obviously, a lot of people know that there's a lot of scammers on Craigslist. So you go, you find a place on Craigslist. You can kind of right click, and um, Google will have uh, area that says uh, search image. And you can go ahead and search that image to see where else online that image is being used, if it's being used. And if you see it on Redfin or something, or maybe on a, you know, Zillow or some, some another type of site, then it will lead you to another listing, which might be the legitimate listing. So uh, the Google image search is, is a pretty useful tool. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Now, um, let's dive a little bit into the different tools. And here, I mean, we wanted just to put um, a conversation that uh, we had with one of what what was that scammer that we were testing out. We were we wanted as a team to learn how they communicate and what they say and what they want to what they want you to do at what part of the process. So this is pretty interesting. Um, you'll see that I mean their reservation fee. They talk about a reservation fee that is. $1,600 and then you have to uh, make that payment through Cash App, which is the first thing, you know, it's right after they say hello, hey, you need to send me money right away. Um, so just things like that, you know, always like follow your gut, you know, if you right. see and you think that this is sounding a little fishy, it probably is. So you need right. to start doing a little bit more research of what's going on. 
And in order to do that, um, we wanted to share with you what we Furnish Finder have put together and what we have built in order to, in order to help you guys. So, um, um, be before we go there, will you go back one slide? Of course. So one thing to note is they, they prefer text message, as you can tell here. Mm -hmm. um, they like that because it's anonymous and, and it, it helps them um, stick to their story and, and control the narrative a little bit better. Rarely do they pick up the phone and call you. Most, many times they, they are overseas and might have an accent or something like that. So um, they, uh, most of the time they do prefer text messaging. So uh, just be aware of that. And one other thing before we get into um, kind of how Furnish Finder combats these on our site, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of Facebook groups out there. And we have a Facebook group. We didn't invite you to join our Facebook group. It's Furnish Finder, Travel Nurse Housing by Furnish Finder. So you could search it and join it. We've got um, about 60,000 members there. So that's a great tool. Um, you can communicate with uh, fellow travelers, you know, uh, find out who's going where, connect with landlords, things like that. So we definitely like to invite you to join the Facebook group. Uh, Facebook groups are becoming um, infiltrated as well by scammers. Now, the admins and moderators of the group, um, you know, we have, you know, three or four people that that's all they do is, is work on our uh, Facebook group. Um, but, um, you know, so we're trying to control kind of who goes in there and, and who the members are to prevent scammers. Um, but Facebook groups are um, really in very, very difficult uh, to manage and to protect against um, scams. Now you have a lot of wonderful travelers and a lot of wonderful landlords on those Facebook groups, but it is something to be aware of that, again, it can be anonymous, and if they slip through the, um, the, the onboarding process, um, you know, just realize that there are uh, a lot more scammers on Facebook groups than there were even last year. Um, I, I think something happened where they just realized that, hey, travel nurses are really involved in, in Facebook groups. So just be aware there as well. It's, very, it's something to be, um, you know, you can, you can go ahead. A lot of people will go and look at their profile and you can look at their profile and look at their friends, look at, you know, anything to, you know, to see, is this a, a legitimate person uh, based on what, you know, the ad says and, and the, maybe the, their profile and does it, does it add up again? You're an investigator making a case, whether the, you know, a, a good person or a bad actor. Exactly. Exactly. That's very, very important um, because we understand that, I mean, there are so many different sources of housing out there. Um, you know, there's not one source that is a hundred percent secure. Um, we, as Furnish Finder, we make everything we can um, to make sure that every single listing that is on our platform is vetted and it's legitimate. Uh, but you guys are interacting with other people out there on Facebook, on Craigslist, on other platforms. So um, anywhere you guys go, just remember that um, you do need to be aware of what is considered a red flag and address those things right away. Um, now diving into a little bit of how we can help you guys um, when you're doing your online search. Um, first, of course, if you are going through Furnish Finder and you're using our map and our tools to find housing. So there, there are a couple of things that happened prior to a property being listed on our map. The first thing is like Brian mentioned earlier in our conversation, um, every listing goes to a verification and approval process. So whenever you're a landlord that is trying to register a property listing on Furnish Finder, um, your property is going to go through a vetting process that it generally takes any, anywhere between 24 to 48 hours. Throughout that time, our quality team is checking um, your name. It's checking the address that you provided, the phone number that you provided. And we're running this information against um, very, very big um, fraud prevention networks that we partner with. Um, this is a service that we Furnish Finder have to pay for. And this is something that we do in order to protect all of you guys. Now, once a listing is approved and a landlord wants to also um, go through an additional vetting process, we have something that we call a verification badge. And we've added the icon here so you guys can see what that looks like. But the listings that have gone through that additional step 
of uh, verification. They not only have gone through the fraud prevention network, but they've also provided a photo ID and a utility bill that was physically checked by our quality team as well. Um, so once you find that little badge on your listing, it just gives you that extra, you know, extra security, you know, extra certainty that this person has been vetted. Um, something else that we do is, that, of course, um, on every single listing on our platform, you guys will find that there's a report um, icon that you guys can click on. If any of you uh, see that there is a listing that has maybe insufficient information or inaccurate information, or there's anything that you guys want us to check on, um, we do that. So once you submit a report, we have a dedicated quality team that is working seven days a week uh, reviewing listings. So just let us know what you find that is inaccurate and we will address that with the landlord. And if necessary, we'll take that listing down. Um, additionally, and this is very, very important, um, under your travelers tab, there's a section that we call the free owner verification report. This report will allow you guys to submit a request for a quality team to verify any property, not only properties that are available in Furnished Finder, but any property you find online, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Craigslist, whether it's any other platform, any other Facebook group, anything, just bring it over to our platform and at no cost, our quality team will check county records for that property and will let you know, hey, this person that is talking to you has a connection, a direct connection to that property. This is a report that will be sent to you via email within 24 hours. So just remember that we're here for you guys and we really wanna make sure that you guys are out there, are safe out there whenever you're finding housing. So bring them on here. You know, we'll bear fine for you. You know, this is something that it is very important that you guys use. If you, if you need to use it 10 times a year, 100 times a year, go for it. That's exactly why that tool is available for you guys under the Travelers tab. Yeah, it's free. I mean, why not? And it's, it's exactly. something that um, it's just a way that we can invest in, in uh, our community, in, in exactly. the Traveler community. Um, exactly. And uh, a lot of Travelers take advantage of it. Um, get the information and I, you know, I can't even tell you how many uh, times that that report has saved somebody thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, and additionally, you know, what we do is we monitor internal communications uh, for keywords that we know scammers use. So um, whenever we see that somebody is sending a traveler a message uh, asking for cash app transfers and things like that, um, our entire quality team is notified as well. And we reach out to the user and we, you know, we flag it and we deactivate the listing until we can complete um, an investigation, an internal investigation to make sure that that is in fact, um, you know, the correct person that they're talking to. So we're constantly monitoring everything that's going on on the site to make sure that everything is, it follows and follows what we want and, and what we required of our landlords when it comes to their behavior as well. Yeah. Um, Furnish Finder also supports law enforcement when it comes to fraud investigations. So if there is a report from one of you guys in regards to a bad actor on the site or anywhere within our community, um, we work with law enforcement to provide any information that we can from our end um, to help them and assist them within those investigations. Um, Ryan, anything you'd like to add? Um, you know, I mentioned Facebook Messenger, you know, everybody knows, um, I think by now that, you know, that you can connect with people through their private messaging system. Um, so just, uh, when, you know, when you get a direct message from a messenger, um, just, just be aware that that is th their primary mode of contact. You know, again, so many great landlords on a Facebook group, um, but um, but Furnish Finder can't screen everybody in a Facebook group, and there's so many other Facebook groups. Just be uh, just be careful on on Facebook groups as well. Uh, use the information, connect with other travelers, connect with landlords, um, but just be aware that it's um, not a secure platform. That's very, very important. Um, and I think uh, we just wanted to share a little bit more about our, rent, uh, our rental network and what we have 
um, available for you guys. Brian did mention that we do have um, over 50,000 properties, actually. It's, it, our network is growing every, every single day. We have properties all over the US. Um, so whether you're going to a large city or you're going to a small town, um, we most likely will have something available for you. So feel free to reach out um, and we will be more than happy to help you all. Yeah, um, and we'd love to hear your questions. So if you do have questions, if anybody's live, um, I don't have visibility to it, but uh, we'd love to hear and interact with you guys today. Exactly. Yeah, so I just put in the chat, feel free to ask any questions that you have for Brian or Cami. Um, we do have some t-shirts uh, that say, worry less, travel more, um, that we're gonna give away for participation. So if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask those. Um, there is one that I answered earlier in the Facebook Live, and it was kind of just more a general question, um, like if there's anything for CNAs. So I said that, Furnish finders for, you know, all healthcare travelers. So if you do have the travel assignment and you're looking for that as well, I know most of your audience is travel nursing, um, but if someone else has an assignment, I'm sure that they're able to use their site. But is there anything else you guys want to add to that one? Um, yes, I mean, it's absolutely open to all medical professionals. You know, if you're a CNA, if you're a local tenant, we are open for all of you guys. Um, you know, we, our properties have been vetted and interviewed so that they, our users understand that they're gonna be working with medical professionals or gonna be on short assignments that are gonna be three to six months. So yes, please use our system and, um, and our landlords will be more than happy to host you. Yeah, we've got a, a couple uh, really good tools. So um, say you're you know, on assignment and you're on shift, but don't, and you, you know, you need housing coming up, but um, you don't have a lot of time. You can go and just submit a housing request on our site and then you can start landlords that kind of meet, meet your criteria um, and have availability. They can reach out to you. Uh, so you can um, always start a housing request. Uh, we also have a uh, online uh, stipend cal calculator. And this really helps when you're in the research phase. So we know that housing and jobs are just so married and tied together um, that uh, so maybe you're shopping a couple cities, right? So you've got a job maybe in Nashville, San Diego, and Bakersfield, California. So uh, I can't leave out Bakersfield. Um, <laughs> so, um, so you're shopping those three areas to find out the housing costs, find out where you can keep the mo majority of your stipend cash, right? So right on our homepage, if you scroll down a little bit, you can, um, you can use that stipend calculator and, and really uh, use it, research the cities when you're in research mode. You can go to our, our map and, and directly see all of our listings for those cities as well. But this is a uh, kind of an overview of how many properties we have broken down by what type of property, um, how many allow pets. I think your sound is um, off again, Brian. <laughs> we lost you. But yes, going back into what Brian is, is, is sharing with us, um, since we lost the sound, we do have the stipend calculator available for you guys. So you can do, uh, Brian, we lost you there for a sec. Um, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I was just sharing with our community here that the stipend calculator that you're describing uh, will allow you guys to do a side-to-side -side comparison of what's going on in each one of the markets that you were thinking of, of, of going to. So pets, pricing, um, demographics, all of that has been put together for you guys so you can have a complete view of what's going on in that market. Um, and then of course, the uh, owner verification request, which is something that we already talked about, the housing request that will allow our landlords to get back to you uh, instead of you having to communicate with them, they will initiate a conversation if they have availability for you too. And uh, we have a question from Alejandra Gaviria about the shorter assignments that are going on right now. Yes, Furnish Finder, um, it's not only for your, your three month assignment, but we have a lot of landlords that are open to shorter assignments. So if you need to be there for a month, if you need to be there for a month and a half, just let your landlord know and they will most likely will be able to help you. Yeah. Additionally, I want to bring up that um, we have very strong partnerships with a lot of hotel chains all over the country. So if you have a short 
um, stay. Maybe you're relocating and you don't have your, you haven't secured your full-time housing um, and you're going to stay in a hotel for one to two weeks. Um, we can also help you guys with that too. Um, so just use our hotel uh, page and um, you can also find our hotels on our main map and communicate with our hotels and they will also be able to help you guys with discounted rates. Yeah. Yeah. Just go to our site and you'll have all the information and all the kind of resources that you need. Uh, we do have further articles on avoiding housing scams, um, but there's a, just a ton of resources on furnishfinder.com for travelers. So we encourage you to go to the site um, where uh, you could download the app as is. We're launching a new version um, within uh, about a week or two. So that should be uh, pretty exciting and uh, have a kind of a new look of feel. So um, yeah, please download the app as well. And that way, you know, it's on your device so you can search and, and get your messages there. So, um, yeah, we're just grateful to, again, serve such a great community. We just want to thank you for, you know, what you guys do every day. Um, and, um, thank you for searching housing on Furnish Finder. Awesome. So yeah, I don't see any other questions coming through. And I also just wanted to mention that um, Furnish Finders actually just uh, guest posted a blog for us. So we have top tips to help travelers find housing on our blog as well as everything that you guys mentioned on your site. So we'll be sending that out after this with the recording. Um, anyone that participated in the questions, I'll be reaching out to you about shirts. But thank you guys, Brian and Cami, for joining us today. Um, and for all that information. And of course, thank you guys so much for having us. Yeah, we appreciate, we appreciate it. it. Thanks guys.